So welcome to the first episode of Go Rails, where James and I are going to be talking about HTTP requests. Yeah, and this is just the first in a series of many videos about routing. Um, we won't get any, any actual code examples here. That'll come later on. But we just wanted to get you familiar with what actual HTTP, HTTP requests are and uh, what they do. And it'll give you a little bit more familiarity as you go in, uh, into development. All right. So to get started, we're going to go talk about the GET request here. So the uh, idea behind a GET request is that you request a URL on a website, and it responds with anything. So normally it's HTML. It could be JSON or JavaScript or whatever. It could be an image or a file. But the idea with a GET request is that you request something. It returns you an object and it makes no changes to anything on the server so uh, you know visiting a user's profile shouldn't allow you to ever change their password visiting the blog shouldn't ever ever allow a user to maliciously insert a blog post or something like spam so uh, get requests are uh, what you call immutable um, when you visit gorails.com uh, the that is considered the root URL, and you you execute a GET request for that, and it returns you our homepage. Right. So literally, all we're doing is getting information. It's it's a literal iteration of the word. Exactly. So another example would be getting um, the blog URL, and uh, this is an example. I can't remember exactly if this will work uh, for searching, but. A GET request also allows you to pass in parameters into the URL after the question mark. So this would set the query parameter to equal Rails 4. So then the idea with that is that the blog would return um, posts only containing a search query for the Rails 4 keyword. So if we had written a, a post with Rails 4 like that in it, then you would get only blog posts with that. So you can send data along but it's only for only meant for filtering cool all right so the next one is the post request now this one is meant for sending data along but you're actually creating a record on the server so uh, the example with this would be uh, if you go to sign up and you submit a post request there this normally happens through a form uh, forms by default are post requests and that would send over you know, your username and password to uh, the server in a post request. So nothing, your username and password never show up in the URL. Of course, that would be very bad. And it would create a record on the database. So post request is meant for creating records on the server. And it's easy to get confused with the next one, which is? Put in patch. And we'll explain the difference here. So a put and patch are pretty much the same. Um, and we'll get into the details of their differences quickly. But uh, say after you've created your account on our uh, website, you want to go change your password. So you might have a URL like this that allows you to, if you get the gorails.com slash password slash new URL, the website would return a form uh, with a get request but if you submit that form it would be a put request or a patch to update your user account so uh, the record already exists and that's why we're not using a post request but we're submitting data so we need to modify the record and that is what a put or a patch does and right and it, it should be noted that uh, patch is new to rails 4 and there is a difference between the two. Yeah, so patch is meant for um, modifying a single uh, or, or a single record with a couple of attributes. So you may change the password. Uh, you don't need to change the whole record. So only the password sent over and you tell it, hey, I want to modify this record. Uh, put is more meant for the modifying the whole record so you'd send over all of the details and modify the whole thing and that doesn't really 
happen very often so that's why patch was created so that you're not um, it's it's more semantic so you're not you're not sending over the whole thing most of the time and you're not sort of um, hacking the put uh, HTTP request to to do what patch really does and finally our drum roll I couldn't even do a good drum roll never mind <laughs> so the last one is the delete request so uh, like this example shows you might want to cancel your account and initially it starts off by visiting the cancel uh, account page so you would initially get request this when you click on a link and then when you click the button to cancel your account the web server um, would receive a delete request so that it knows that we want to take action on this uh, account and then it would uh, do the proper cancellation so it would cancel um, your your payments and whatever uh, whatever other functionality it needs to do before it deletes your account yep so this is the basic HTTP request, uh, just a high-level overview. Uh, in our next episode, we'll actually get into some code examples and show you how it relates to your Rails app. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.